what's up you guys i'm so excited to be back right now i've been sick for the last few days and so this morning i woke up and i just feel awesome and i'm so excited to go dive right now i'm gonna go to a different city that has like a lot mm, higher income area like it's a wealthier area and so I'm just gonna drive over there. If you can see, my car is like fully fogged all up. It's raining, so I have on my raincoat that I found, and I'm just gonna embrace it and get out there. Okay, so I made it. It was like a 50 minute drive. Um, I'm at the first apartment complex and I drove around to a couple others and all of them had compactors and that's kind of a thing with these newer or higher end apartment complexes. They're probably gonna have compactors but I did find one with a dumpster and so I'm gonna check it out and see what's in there. You're kidding right now. Are you kidding? This trash man is picking up the trash right now. This is the exact same thing that happened in my last video, or one of my last videos. So I guess Wednesday is, is trash day here. <laughs> oh, okay, so I uh, will try some other places. Okay, so I'm giving up on apartment complexes for right now. All of them are just empty, and so I came to behind a shopping center and I'm not exactly sure where this is, but this is all basil and it literally is the best smelling dumpster I've ever smelled. There's peppers. I have no idea what these are. That's like all leaves or spinach or something. <laughs> Let me go over to this one real quick. What is that? It's huge. Um, what are these pictures? Does anybody know who this is? Huh. A lot of mushy bananas in there. side. I'm pretty sure that this white box is just full of more of those pictures. So here's the four I've gotten so far that I'll take to my car. Oops. Okay, I really love that. That's cool. All right, hold on. them out individually because I don't think I can get this box out but there I got them all these 
these are the ones that like change as you move them. That's so cool. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like spiritual, some type of religion pictures. That's awesome. From whatever dumpster this is, I don't even know where this is. Okay. So I'm not gonna take any of these bananas, they're a little too far gone. Just another box of them. Or they're not broken. So. <sighs> How weird. And these are on wood. They're um like pretty heavy duty. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll look one more time. See if I see any other boxes of those. How strange to throw those away. I'm gonna be done here, partly because there's someone who parked like right over there and I don't know if they're watching or informing somebody or what. straighteners in here, all of them with the cords ripped out. There's another one. There's a pair of sunglasses. Be seen. Another straightener. These straighteners are really expensive too, and they just trashed them. taking the straighteners. I don't see their cords in there, so I'm just taking a pair of sunglasses. Alright, let's see what we got. Um, oh, there's a, a baby. That's cute. dirty but someone could clean it up um, here's a bag of puppy training pads that's the best angle, but that's what's going to work for now. Uh, 
batteries. That's candy, but it's been opened. More batteries. Conditioner. I don't know if there's something wrong with this, but this is a microwavable or something pizza, reheat pizza. Sorry. <laughs> way. Okay. An employee just came out. He put all the stuff that I've gotten out back in there. So I'm gonna give it a minute and then <laughs> go get that stuff back. I might not film cause I'm gonna need to be really quick. So I'm just gonna go get the stuff back that he put back in there and then I'm gonna go so I don't get in trouble. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I went back to get the stuff. Uh, number one, I'm glad I was quick cause he came right back out. But what he was bringing out to throw away are like these huge bags full of stuff. It's more than I had originally. So let me show you. I drove, I drove further away so he isn't around anymore. But look, this must be like their Halloween. I haven't even looked through any of it, but both of these bags is, is what he was bringing out. Let me tear into here. Easter egg with candy, and this entire bag is just full. Look at all of these Twix. I wonder if they expired. Yeah, best before uh, October 2019. So they expired in October. But you guys, it's candy. When did these expire? Those are just sell-by dates that the stores have to go by, but that doesn't mean that this Twix bar is gonna be bad as soon as October is over. Obviously, it's still gonna be fine for a little while. And all of this can go, oh my gosh. So these are just full of jelly beans. This whole bag is basically all those. And then this one, Looks like it might be about the same stuff. Oh my gosh. So, tons of chocolates. These must have been from Easter, I guess, because it's all bunny themed. <laughs> Marshmallow eggs. Oh my gosh. Well, that would have been nice to find before Halloween. That would have been cool to pass out like whole eggs like that. <laughs> but okay, um, not 100% sure what I'm gonna be doing with all these. I guess they can go to the donation, uh, the little food pantry that I've donated to before. But yeah, two giant bags full of candy. This one's wild to me. And then I also did, I got the baby, what is this? Oh, these are just the little lollipops. And then this as well. So it's a reheat your pizza and apparently this helps it be crispy, I guess. I don't know what's wrong with it, if it was a return or what, but it looks like it's all sealed still. Yeah, the tape, you can still see it's all wrapped up in there. The, it won't even open because the sides are still taped. 
myself. I would love to go back, but then I'm nervous. He would get me in trouble. Because when I, when I ran back really fast, as I was getting back into my car, he came back out. So I think he saw that I went back and got that stuff that he threw out. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back and try. Because he took out two more bags. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to go. There's more shops here. So I'll keep going down the line. And then maybe once I feel like it's been enough time that he's not going to come back out, I will go back. Okay, so I didn't go back for that other bag. Um, I didn't want to get caught again and I just didn't think that it was worth it for another bag of candy just because I don't want them to end up locking the dumpsters. So now I'm at one more stop and then I'm probably going to be done for the day. Um, and this is like a furniture decor kind of place. Styrofoam everywhere. It's really super full in here. Oh, a little angel with her legs are broken, but it's still cute. Or a fairy, I don't really know which one it is. There's a tiny little squirrel. Another squirrel. Oh. There's a, I'm not even sure if there's anything wrong with her. Let me try to set this up so it's not, it doesn't move as much. stuff in here but it's so full. Oh here's another squirrel. home it's the next day now I just came home and kind of went to sleep because I started not feel super great again <laughs> so now um, I'm gonna show you everything laid out on the table it's pretty wild when I was looking at it yesterday I was like oh it's like I got some good stuff but it's not a lot and looking at it all laid out I'm realizing oh my gosh this is actually a lot especially of the candy so here's it all on the table for you to see Ta-da! 
Okay, so what I did is I took all the candy out of those eggs and inside every egg was about five little bags of individual little candies like this. And so since I'm gonna be donating them, I just went ahead, I found a bunch of these Ziploc bags and so I just bagged them all up like this because it's gonna be easier um, to donate them when they're like this as opposed to just all loose or in the eggs. And then what I have, this is all the leftovers that I haven't bagged yet. So this is an entire like gift bag full. So you can just see how much candy was really in there. It's just so, so much. So tons and tons of candy like that. Um, there's all of these little like sugar salty can I don't know if this candy I don't know if you're supposed to dip I've seen some suckers that you like dip it in there and then these expired in October as well but it's just salt and sugar so I really doubt that there's anything wrong with it I'm just going to be putting these as well in the food bank and then people can make their own decisions on if they want to eat them or not there's all these Cadbury caramel eggs, and I haven't looked at the expiration actually on these. Let's see what it says. Best Buy 619. So these actually expired earlier in the summer, but again, they're probably still fine. I mean, it's just, it's caramel and chocolate and they're fully wrapped and sealed. And again, that BB right there just means Best Buy. So they might not be like as fresh as they once were, but they're still gonna taste really good. So again, these will be donated and people can make their own decisions on if they wanna go ahead and eat them or not. This is just a few Twix eggs that I laid out here, but like right in this bag, <laughs> is all the others. So this entire bag is full of them. There's probably like 50 in there. So there's a bunch of Twix eggs. And then these chocolate rabbits haven't actually expired yet. Um, not until November of next year. So those are still totally fine. And then there's one carton of marshmallow eggs. And then from that grocery store, here's all of the Hindu art that I found. So a lot of them are duplicates. Like this one, I have several of them. This one I really love. And there's only one of these. And these are all the ones that are printed on wood. So these are all wood. And I haven't counted, actually. There's... That's... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of these wooden ones. There's a lot of this one. So, fifteen of those. And then back here are all of the larger ones. And there's, I think there's 15 of these too, or 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so there's 10 of the larger ones and 15 of the smaller ones. And these I really, really like. These again are the holographic ones that change. There's multiples of those. And it looks like they were selling these for $10 a piece. This one, and I actually think we're gonna hold on to some of these and decorate our bathroom with them. Um, we just really love the way that they look, the bright colors and everything. So 10 large paintings, 15 wooden canvas looking paintings, and all of this candy. And then I already showed you the pizza reheater and the baby as well. And I accidentally left those in the car, so those are not in here, but there it all is. So there you have it, yesterday's haul. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been as active. If you can't tell, I'm a little not feeling super great still. So I am gonna try to be making more videos this weekend. And then we are actually going to Vietnam for two weeks. So excited. So I might not be posting as much. Um, 
because we're gonna be out of the country. But if you wanna see more of like my Vietnam trip, you can follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my name here. It's just at breathgist. So I'm super pumped and I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Some of these Hindu art pieces will be up on my Poshmark if you're interested and all the rest, the candy and everything is gonna be donated. And there you have it. Happy diving to everyone and enjoy this super rainy day. That's why Pilgrim's blanket is just on the floor back there because his paws get so muddy. <laughs> Pilg, you want to say hi? Hi, boy. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.